Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Amy and with Kimmy. And so today we are going to minister to 10 people. So I know it is Friday and so we release uh, in the afternoon uh, this video. But we are still going to go live tonight at 6 o'clock and we're going to minister to people. So you're welcome to come to that also. But I went back at the list of names of Monday evening's prophetic ministry and there was about 70 names on the list people put their names on and we ministered to the first 40. And so I thought to myself, well, people aren't putting their names in these videos that I'm making so I'm going to take the last 30 people's names uh, that we didn't minister to and I'm just going to put them 10, 10, 10 for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So now we're starting our second lot. And so the first person we're going to minister to today uh, is Amanda van Niekerk. Okay. So now Amanda, I just felt that the Lord today is just helping you and he's softening you and he's strengthening you. So I felt that, that you had to harden yourself because you needed to, to protect yourself and you wasn't sure is things going to go the way you should go and you don't want to always expect the best. But I felt that the Lord says, Set your expectation higher. Set your hope higher. Uh, allow me to take out the heart of stone and put in that heart of flesh. And it's not that you had a hard heart. It's just that you sometimes want to protect yourself. And I just felt that the Lord says, I am your protector. I am your provision. I am your covering. So you don't have to cover for yourself. I will cover for yourself. And then I saw in your heart, open up that gate of the love of God and how there was just a river of God's love flung out of you. God bless you, Amanda. Amanda, God loves you very much. And I just feel how the Lord is really um, filling you up with, with strength. And also, I just I just saw a picture of how, you know, just like, um, I just saw God is giving you like this colorful, vibrant cloak. And that's like his anointing, the promises that he has over you. And I just feel the Lord says, don't leave that cloak in your house in the cupboard. The Lord says, walk with my glory. You are a carrier of my presence. And it, it's kind of like you're in this place where um where it's just deserts and God is calling you to be a fountain and I just see there's like this team of people that are builders and they all are very strong and and you look at them and you're like comparing I'm not as strong as these all these builders at this construction site um I, I don't have all the tools but I saw how God was giving you um, a blueprint and I saw how the Lord says you are very you may not look like everyone around you but I've given you a blueprint and a calling to really um be a piece for like um building like this house or construction I just feel the Lord says know that you're in the right place and it's good that you don't look like or feel like you're like everyone else I just feel the Lord says you're precious and you're very, very much a key piece to his plan God loves you God bless you um, the, uh, thank you, Amanda. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Jan. Jan, uh, the Lord shows me how he, how you, he says, take off your skin and release the light. When Adam and Eve were first in the garden, they were just light. They were shiny and, and their skin was glowing. And I hear that's the Lord's, that, what's what he wants for you. He wants you to release this light that the Lord has placed inside of you. He is blessing you with joy to change the atmosphere around you, whether when the when the, when you feel that that press the atmosphere of pressure and of stress and stress of stress and of anxiety you must say no i'm gonna counteract this with the light and and the love and the peace the fruits of the spirit and that is your light that you must release be blessed hey jan uh, i just see that anointing uh for business that kingly crown on your head and so it's you it's like lord when is this crown going to start to come into effect but I just felt that the Lord says, do not fear, trust in me. You're going to see how the Lord is going to use you and bless you in mighty ways. And I see the favor of God in this year on your life. All right, Jan, God bless you. All right, Frida, uh, strong intercession anointing to pray for what God's going to do. And then God gives you the job. <laughs> you know, we are you sometimes, you pray for the Lord. Lord, please say some, say someone come to come and do this and that for us. Please, Lord, we pray, please, Lord. And then the Lord says, I'm sending you. <laughs> And I just felt that the Lord says, you've done the intercession now. Now I'm going to give you the strength so that you can run with the vision. I'm going to give you the supply and you're going to say, but I don't know how to do it. But the Lord says, do not fear. I'm going to help you. I'm going to train you as you go along. And you're going to see growth and blessing and provision and protection upon your life. God bless you. 
Amen. This next word is for Shannon. God loves you, Frida. All right, Shannon, the Lord loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was how you were playing this guitar and you really, you worshiped this guitar and, and it, it was like God gave you, it's like, okay, it's time for an upgrade. And he gave you this brand new one. Um, and it even looked like it had like an extra string. It was like, it was so much, it was, it was beautiful, but it was a slightly different. And I just, and it had a different sound. And I just felt that you were like so overwhelmed, like, okay, how do I do this? And I just feel the Lord says, um, piece by piece, step by step. The Lord says that I'm giving you the new, new tools that you need for your new assignments, the calling that he has for you. And the Lord says, don't be in fear, don't be overwhelmed, for I am with you. And I, I just feel the Lord says that there's no reason to be overwhelmed. I'm with you and I'm giving you a gift of peace. And I just really feel God is really blessing you right now for your works. God loves you, Shannon. God bless you. Amen, Shannon. Please leave us a comment this next word. Bird. This next word is for uh, Renee. The Lord shows me how he says you are covered in every season. In, in, in the winter, the Lord is in the winter times, the Lord is giving you warmth. He is clothing, clothing, clothing you in in a warm jacket. And in the summer, He is He is covering you with the with the shade that protects your skin. And in and, and in the spring, He is the rain that is covering you. So so know that in every season of your life, in the valleys, in the mountains, the Lord is with you. You do not walk. You do not walk without him. He is walking before you. And I and I hear that that's something that you need to really, really believe that the Lord is covering me and I can feel his presence when I choose to engage him. Be blessed. Thank you, Renee. God bless you. All right, so next word is for Yolani. Yolani, the Lord shows me, uh, Joseph, how he went through a process of being sold into slavery. He, of, of course, he had the gifting. He saw the visions, the dreams. But he was then into prison and then the Lord raised him up as a leader and as a prophet in the land of Egypt. And he actually became second in charge in the land of Egypt. And I felt that the Lord is giving you a word today. And the Lord says that I'm calling you as a leader. I have a prophetic anointing and a mantle upon your life. Go through the process and do not fear. I'm with you. I'm going to help you. Be strengthened. Be encouraged. Keep your joy. I think the, the secret to Joseph was he didn't complain. He didn't say negative words. He just said, yes, Lord. And the Lord used him in a mighty, mighty way. Now, I also would like to give a word to Jane Coop. All right. So, Jane, uh, I prayed and the Lord showed me a grocery store. Now, um, uh, I've seen it there when I was in Florida in America, but we see it a lot here in South Africa. You know, you go to the store and there's a place for 25 cashiers where you buy your, your groceries. But then there's just five cashiers or, or eight cashiers, but there's space for 25 cashiers. And then there's long lines. And then you think, why on earth don't they get more cashiers? Then the lines is going to go a little bit quicker. And there's so much more potential to, to do so much more sales, but they but they don't utilize all the, the options. So then the next thing that the Lord showed me, he shows me stalls, like farm stalls and farm shed and farm uh, um, different things there. And I see potential, but it's not being used. And then the Lord said to me that that potential is now going to, things are going to turn around and I'm going to use that potential. And so you're not going to have stalls that's kind of not used for its right purposes and sheds and space and land that you always have a dream for. The Lord says dreams are going to come into reality. God bless you. God bless you, Jay. And this next word is for Kristen, Christine. Christine, God loves you very much. I, I just really feel how the Lord is really bringing so much hope um, into your life and how the Lord says, um, my daughter, I love you so much. And I am right. It is like God is like lighting up your path. And it, I saw how you came to his presence and how he took away the old armor and gave you new boots. He gave you new armor a new covering for this new season of your life. And I just feel that you've been praying a lot for your family members. And I just feel the Lord says breakthrough is coming. It's such a big breakthrough in healing that God is bringing for your family. Um, especially a financial breakthrough. Um, God loves you so much. God bless you. Amen, Christine. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Johnson. The Lord shows me how how he is giving you um, a hammer and a chisel. And he has placed something in front of you. And he's like, my son, I have given you the wisdom. You can go and find the wisdom 
and you can go and find the information and I hear the Lord giving you this this revelation on, on how to how to make this masterpiece and 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 it says in the we are the Lord's masterpiece that he has made us and I hear the Lord saying that I want you to create I want you to make something I want you to to take something that was that was small and and multiply it into something great. Be blessed. Hello, uh, Johnson. I can disagree with what Kimi said. The Lord says, "I'm giving you a builder anointing, and you're gonna build and establish." God bless you, Johnson. The next person I want to minister to is Liana Anderson. Okay, so Liana, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is how He is giving you the strength. He's giving you the courage. He is giving you the power to continue. And I see in you an, an encourager anointing. And I see in you a prophetic anointing. And so the Lord says, stir up the gift of God. Rise up. Uh, come into your potential. I felt that the Lord says that you, you say to yourself, okay, I'm going to try to take it a little bit easy so that I can go the long run. But the Lord says the strength and the potential in you is far more. And so now it's the time to pray harder, to pray with more vigor. Now it's the time to even, uh, uh, you know, like those guys that when they're going to run the race, how they put their feet into the ground and they push and they run and they can run that 100 meter dash in a very fast time. And I felt that the Lord says, this is the time of acceleration. And so this is a time for you to push and you will overcome. God bless you. Family, it was such a pleasure for us to minister to you. So we are going to go live in just three hours from now uh, with the team. And then we will minister to more people. So uh, if you would like to receive ministry, you can put your name in the comments of this video. And then on Sunday afternoon's video that comes out, we will minister to you. Or you can just wait three hours till six o'clock tonight, uh, South African time. And then we're going to go live with the team. And then we can also minister to you. So we love ministering the word of the Lord. The Lord gave us a mandate and said, this is what we want to do. And so that's why we are obedient to the Lord. Uh, I want to encourage you, if you're new to Unity with Heaven, please subscribe and sign up to our newsletter. If you would like to give, you can hit that PayPal button and you can denote any amount that the Lord gives on your heart. I love and I appreciate each one of you. God bless you.